So we are learning more about the health of California Senator Dianne Feinstein as the course of calls for her to resign continues. The 89-year-old Democrat recently returned to Capitol Hill in a wheelchair after a nearly three-month absence due to shingles. Now her office confirms that she's dealing with some more serious complications. Nicole Killian joins us from Capitol Hill uh, with more on why uh, even members of her own party are split on whether or not she should stay. Nicole, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Anne Marie. And Senator Feinstein's return has provided Democrats with a critical vote back on big issues like the upcoming debt limit and confirming judges here in the narrowly divided Senate. But she has been maintaining a lighter schedule. She's missed some meetings and votes, prompting some within her own party to question whether it's time for her to step aside. California Senator Dianne Feinstein came back to the Capitol last week to a standing ovation. I want to welcome back our colleague, Senator Dianne Feinstein. <laughs> Mrs. Feinstein. Mrs. Feinstein, I. After battling shingles for nearly three months, a spokesperson for the 89-year-old Democrat confirmed Thursday she suffered from additional complications, including a rare neurological disorder called Ramsey-Hunt syndrome and encephalitis, or inflammation of the brain. How is your recovery going, going Senator? Well. Earlier this week, the senator faced renewed scrutiny over her health after a Los Angeles Times reporter asked her about her return to the Senate. I haven't been going. I've been working. You've been working from home is what you're saying? No, I've been here. I think she should step down. California Congressman Ro Khanna is one of several lawmakers demanding Feinstein's resignation. She's representing 40 million people in California. We ex need someone who's going to be on top of the job. Feinstein holds a seat on the powerful Senate Judiciary Committee where Democrats now have a one vote advantage over Republicans. So missing one vote leaves Democrats short of getting President Biden's judicial nominees through. What kind of we accommodations do you have to make? Well, we schedule things that work for her to make sure that she's able to attend physically. I was mayor of San Francisco for nine years. As the longest serving no female program. senator, the five term legislator announced in February that she would not seek re-election next year. Congresswoman Katie Porter is running for her seat. Any concerns about her ability to serve out her full term? I think it's very, very clear that it's time for a change in California. That's why I declared um, to run. Now, there are several others vying for Feinstein's seat, including Congressman Adam Schiff, who is endorsed by former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. If Feinstein resigns, California Governor Gavin Newsom has pledged to appoint a black woman, but that is raising some questions, uh, particularly uh, about the close relationship that Feinstein has with Pelosi's eldest daughter, who is now assisting her here in Washington. The former speaker has defended Feinstein's decision to stay and serve out her term, although a source tells CBS News that any insinuation of a political agenda is ridiculous. Anne-Marie? A little bit more about this relationship between Nancy Pelosi's daughter and Feinstein and, and why people would raise questions about it. Well, keep in mind, I mean, you know, they have been longtime friends. They've known each other uh, for years. And so, uh, you know, that is really uh, what many around, uh, you know, both Senator Feinstein and the speaker point to. But uh, again, it does raise some questions about the optics, because, as I mentioned, uh, there are other candidates who are running for U.S. Senate, including California Congresswoman Barbara Lee, who is an African-American. And as I mentioned, Mentioned, you know, the governor has pledged to appoint a black woman if Feinstein were to retire. And many people that I have talked to think that Lee should be a leading contender if that scenario arises. But then some wonder if that's tipping the scales on the Senate race. And then now that Pelosi's daughter is uh, working uh, for the senator kind of in an unofficial capacity, you know, that's raising questions about whether that's tipping the scales, too. So it's a very complex uh, situation. Uh, but, uh, you know, for the most part, again, uh, you know, people are defending this relationship and say it's simply one born out of friendship and respect. Now, Feinstein is a six term senator. Um, clearly, the great people of California reelected her for a reason. They like her representation. Is there a concern that this, you know, recent conversation about her health and and her, her faculties, to be frank, that this could overshadow this tremendous legacy? 
Well, it has, uh, you know, particularly when she was absent, of course, uh, we heard a number of calls for her to step down again from uh, Ro Khanna to other progressive House members like uh, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Javon Bowman uh, and others. But, you know, I will say for the most part, by and large, both Democrats and Republicans, uh, especially here in the Senate, have uh, really been very uh, defensive and respectful of the senator saying that it really really is her decision and her call to uh, make that decision as to whether or not she steps down. And she herself pointed out that part of the reason that she was coming back is that she understands that her vote is critical and she does think it's important to address the debt ceiling. It's important to get these judges confirmed. And so she has been participating in those votes that are absolutely critical. All right, Nicole Killian. Thank you, Nicole. You bet.